hello my youtube friends hello and welcome welcome to a, another video and welcome to high rise city yes so we are going to start playing a series on this as well i know there's loads of series going on on the channel at the moment i will get around to doing all of them um but we're going to play and have a look at high rise city now high rise city obviously you as a player and me as a player we're always going to compare city builders okay um city skylines are, have been the one that's been the one that you can't really beat city skylines is the city builder of the world but this is a little bit different in high rise city it isn't really a city builder it is but it's also all about production chains okay so this is all about economically and infrastructure as well um again it's early access it only came out on the 24th um i pl played a couple of hours of it so far and i really really enjoy it um it's i didn't think i was going to enjoy it as much as i have and i really do um they are in proper places in the proper maps in the world at the moment you've only got these that obviously that are open so vancouver we're going to go to naples so Here's Naples here, obviously Italy, Italy, um, and this tells you what the actual place here has actually got. Now, it is quite a um, hilly area, so it's quite hilly as well there. Um, but yeah, it gives you all the bits that you want to do. So we come out of that. Let's go. Let's have a look at Nagoa. So it hasn't got a lot of water there, but. It's a major city, port city, and it administrates seat to Japan's. So it's based on proper real stuff. Um, let's go to England. So you've got England here. It's got water, it's got wood, it's got copper ore, iron ore, quartz, gold, gems, and lithium. So it's got quite a bit there. Um, let's go back. Let's just try somewhere completely different, shall we? Um, I don't know where other the places you can play right so here is quite good for stuff that's got stuff i'm not too sure what that is on the map actually um i think it's cuba but i'm not too sure um right new york let's have a look at new york that's got basically very similar to england um we're gonna actually play in new york i'm gonna play in new york and see how we go there so it's on the East Coast of the United States. It's most populated city in the United States with a population of around 8.8 .8 million. So we are going to do a new city. And the city name is going to be called Doodlesville. And it's going to be Sir. Oh, yes. Doodleback. There you go. Excellent. So we've done that. Now the next step is doing the game settings. Um, I'm going to leave it on exactly what it is and not change it. And we're going to go straight in. I shall see you in a bit. Right, guys, welcome back. Welcome back. So, as you can see here, this is where we are starting in New York. So, we're going to do that. We're not going to do... Thank you for playing High Rise City. We hope you enjoyed what you've seen so far. That's fine. I, I've played a couple of hours. I feel quite confident in what I'm meant to be doing. So, again, we take you around the basic stuff. So, obviously, to build houses, you need tools and you need wood. So, it's not like a normal city builder where you're going to just build and just go and lay loads and loads of houses. That doesn't work in High Rise City. It's all about infrastructure. So, you need the materials to build something, okay? So we're going to start with a standard road. Okay, we're going to stand here. As your population grows, you unlock stuff and research different stuff. So let's have a look. Let's put this is all needs to be unlocked. So it is all done on a grid system, and New York is on a grid system. So we can put that in here. Let's do another road off there. Again, you can buy land. Just like anywhere else. And you can bend it. You can curve it. You can free draw it. So you can just draw how you want. 
we are just going to do just a quick diagram of what we're going to do right so we've got the road you can zoom straight into this that is really nice because you can actually get down to really low level so you can watch the city from the deck ground upwards so yeah it's nice right click get rid of it so this is named Baffin Place again you can change any name or anything else you want so you don't have to call it Baffin Place we can call it Doodle Highway if we wanted to if that's what we want and then it will become Doodle Highway all the way along through the middle right so we've got that again we've got money here so we've got our money graft here and obviously if we're making money at the moment we're losing 853 pounds a week here you've got the people that are in your city and the green naught that you can see underneath it that is just letting you know how many people are coming in or going out of your city so and then you've got research points because you need to research stuff as you go along there is trading again i need to build a port that's a little bit later on in the actual game that needs to be unlocked resources so this is your main resource tab at the moment so level one housing only has it only needs a little bit like vegetables fish and that's all the food they eat so resources at the moment is quite low it starts quite low um so yeah that that will become more as you go along so we need some electric at the moment all we've got is a small wind bind and that's all we have um that is a little shame so we're gonna put one there two it's amazing how much they use again they start getting built first so they don't just automatically be there they, they've got to be built um and obviously we want to start making a profit in doodlesville so we're going to try and see if we can make economically better so let's just play it to get that going um let's put a pump in we do need some water so we will put a small tower and then obviously again like city skylines it needs to be covered so we will get it covered but farms are quite good on this game as well it's all free flowing so it's a little bit different than your normal city skylines you know your typical build that you would build it's all about infrastructure right so we've got everything watered everything's there so we've got everything in place so we can actually start putting our first housing down now with this i learned that you need to try and keep away because noise they have problems with noises so if you put factories close to it they do have issues so we're going to use this bit down here as housing okay Again, as you can see, with housing, if I took it, it uses one bit of wood for construction. So you need to bear that in mind. And obviously, the more you do, the more they're going to eat. Okay. So let's start putting a vegetable farm, shall we? Now, a vegetable farm works in a little bit of a different way as anything does. You have to draw the outside of the farm. Okay. So if we go from here... And we'll just go straight down. Then you get this. As you can see at the top here, it wants 20 to do the farm. So you sort of build an outline of it. Okay. Once you've built the outline of the road around it, then you put obviously the main bit in. And then obviously it takes that. Now, wood, we need a small number. Now, as you can see, there's there's a round bit over it. So, the more you put that in the trees, the better it becomes. So, we're going to put two of them in, just to keep us going. So, that's going to do that. It also creates jobs. So, it creates 20 jobs. Now, your residents that are down here need, obviously, jobs to go to. If you do click this here... You can actually change the farm model 
to how you want. Loads of different farm models. Um, and you'll get this here. It needs one office. So we go to the office. You can put that anywhere you want, to be fair. We're going to put it there. The offices are going to start building. And as you can see, it's growing the vegetables. So you've got cabbage here. It's a big, big field. And that employs 100 people that work there. And it's got a lack of 38 workers. And at the moment, we're losing minus 2,000. We're not too worried at the moment. Okay. Um, right, so you've got this here. And you've got these here. Again, lacking in workers. Okay. Now, it needs local carriers. Now, these actually deliver stuff to certain areas. Okay. Um, so, we're just going to put them... I'm going to put two here. So, they're going to deliver delivery. So, they pick up what that needs. So, it produces vegetables. The carriers go along, pick it up. A bit like a delivery van, if you like. It's the same sort of principle as a delivery van. Um, it works in the same way. Right. Let's get some more houses in. We'll we're, we're go across and look at the... Um, all the tax and stuff like that very shortly. Right. <clears throat> right, so that's, that is producing vegetable. <clears throat> Sorry. Okay, so it's producing vegetable pretty good. Um, what we need is a... We do need some health, but we what we do need, and I will find it in a minute... No, we don't need a road. No, not water. Where is it? Not warehouse, administration. We need garbage. Got doctors there that need, but we're missing resources on that. Might have done the farm a bit too big, to be fair. Um, drive the vehicle yourself. Again, that is another brilliant thing, this. Um, you can actually just drive a vehicle. So, you can actually just drive around your city. That, to be fair, right, is the best thing that I've seen. Oh. It does when you can actually drive properly, you know. Here we go. So everything you've done, and everything I've done, we can actually just drive around ourselves. How good is that? I mean, I think that's brilliant, that. Re up. Big spinny Rooney at the end there. Come on, this is a city builder, isn't it? Hey, come on, you love it. No, I really do like it. Oh, we've got a ship coming in there. A cargo ship. I think it's brilliant. And I, and I didn't think I was going to like it that much. But actually, it, it makes sense that you need the materials before building. And, it, and, and you do, don't you? You know, it's, it's just... You should have materials before you build. So, this... Oh, God, I've fallen off. Oh, I crashed. ha, <laughs> Right, okay. Is the castle up there or does it get rid of it? No, it gets rid of it. <clears throat> right, so these have got the workers now. So there's a hundred workers working there. They're good. We need some garbage carriers that we haven't got at the moment. But I'm a bit I'm not sure why we haven't, but for some reason we haven't. Right, so we've got a settlement. So we've reached 300 level 1 buildings, basically, people. So we've got 335. So now we've unlocked the fruit farm, the clay pit, the brickyard, zone garbage, and the local garbage collector. That was the reason why I couldn't find it. Because I didn't unlock it. 
So we need five wood. So we need to wait until we get five wood. So we're going to speed it up a little bit. Obviously, these here have got diamonds. So you can actually just keep going more and more, but they become less efficient. So the smaller they are, the better it is they become. Um, but yeah, they cater for all of that. You can have loads of different vehicles and add vehicles to it. Um, and there will be mods in the game as well going forward. So, right, we can do the local garbage collector. So, let's collect, let's put the garbage collector over here, out of the way. I'm sure the people living in this area don't really want to see it. So, that's going to be put in. And again, same diameter, it does the same thing. It covers a lot of the area that we need to. And that will go out and start collecting the garbage. That will go out and start collecting the uh, garbage. All the rubbish. So if we click our resource button that is here. We can see now we've got 72 ton of tools. We've got 72 ton of fish. So we're doing well for fish. We're not doing too well with fruit. So we need to build a fruit farm. Like this but a fruit farm. So let's... Um, Let's build that now, because we need the fruit farm. We're missing resources. What are we missing? Oh, we need two bricks. Okay. So we need to build the brick area. So we need a clay pit. Again, when you open up, you can see these orange bits on all the different areas. These are the only places you can actually put something. So it's the only place I'm going to be able to put a clay pit. And I will put that next to that. So we've got the carriers, we've got everything all connected together. So let's just say this road here is getting quite busy, isn't it? Okay. Well, I can do this, and I can eventually, when I hit the millstone. You can actually upgrade automatically. Um, that is brilliant. You don't have to delete a road and do it. You can just upgrade it straight away. Um, that is really good. Right, so we need a doctor's. So let's get the doctor's in place first. Uh, we need it more over that way. Because if you click a house, you can see what they want. So infrastructure, they're happy. It's all green. They're 58% happy at the moment because they haven't got a health care. We're just building health care. So that's gone up. Now it's gone up to 83, as you can see. They've got enough fruit. They've got enough vegetables and they've got enough fish. So you, they've got everything that they actually want or they need. Now, one building's lacking electric. Uh, and they need offices. So let's do a little office here. So that will start building up offices. Right, let's speed it up quite a lot. Right, okay, so that, that's doing that. People are at work. Yeah, that's covered that. Has it covered this one? Yeah, it's covered that one, but they want electric. That is fine. I can give them electric. Add another electric in there. So at the moment, we're losing minus 257 a week. That isn't too bad. Let's have a quick look at our resource system. We've got 80 ton of vegetables. Fruit, we've run out. But we are doing fruit, so... That will become better as it goes on. Lack of 8 offices. So it needs more office space. Alright, that should get rid of that now. Hopefully. That should disappear. Yes, there you go. So that is gone. So, um, we can have a look at tax in a minute, but we've got that. We need to do a fruit farm because we have no fruit. Uh, but we need bricks. So we should have enough bricks now, actually. So, what I think we should do is have it next to this one. I think that would be a very good place to have it. Uh, fruit farm. Let's have it, say, here. 
and along there. Right, it needs... Oh, right, okay. Yeah, that's going to be too big. Let's just do a smaller one. The smaller you get, the less you need. There you go. So that is the fruit farm being done. We can click that. We can change the farm model. There you go. We can have some trees instead. As it's a fruit farm. So again, th this caters for 85 people. That caters for 100. So they have got some work areas to go to. And they've got some office space over here as well. Um, very detailed. Very nicely detailed in some of this. Again, don't forget it, <coughs> it is early access. So um, it's got a lot way to come yet. But uh, so far, I'm quite impressed with the game. I quite like it. Again, people want fruit. You're going to have to wait for it, but we will get fruit. Fruit is producing. There's six there. We can manually get trucks to go there and pick it up instantly. So as you can see, this truck is on the way to get the six fruit. <clears throat> so yeah, th there's a lot of customization on the game. Let's just say that. And I I'm quite impressed with that. Um... You don't need to make sure they've all got roads. It will automatically get them to where they need to go. That's good because you can make sure everyone, you don't miss any gaps. Right, so now we've reached 750 craftsmen. So now we're in a valley. We get medium wind turbines, small sun power plant. We've got a small church bank. And we've got some bigger roads as well we've unlocked. So that's great. Now these will want a church, they want fire, and they want police. So we're gonna go, we're gonna put a church in first. We've got enough of it. So let's just put a church next to that. That's being built. Again, they're gonna be much more happier in that. Um, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna, we're gonna raise. I don't think I can actually do that yet, can I? Employees, it's a breakdown on what's what, but no, I don't think I can actually change the tax at the moment for some reason. Right, we're getting some power issues as well, so we need to address that. Um, we've got a medium turbine here. Right, we are making money now. We're making, getting over 200 a week now. As I say, you can watch this little thing here. You'll get, really pop up loads of different stuff and it's quite good. So you can beautify the city. So you can actually start putting bits and bobs down. Wherever stuff you want to do. That I think is brilliant as well. It's very customization. This is good. Right, so, again, you can have a population of one city into one million, but if I come here, this is only the one square, and it just keeps getting bigger and bigger. Now, if you look at the map, okay, you'll see there's a light and a dark area. The light area is what you can build in. So you can see it's quite big. So you can make some really brilliant stuff. So yeah, it, it, you can make some really big cities in this game. All the put potential to do that. Um, right, so we need the police department. But we need the police for everything, so... I want to put the police up there. We're making 2,200 a week now. We've got the fruit farm. We've got the vegetable farm. We've got the clay pits. 
they're making bricks so obviously it needs clay goes in makes them and then obviously you get the bricks as well um, but what you want to do is try and keep them away these houses from this area because they're quite noisy um, right so what we're gonna do oh we've got a small village we've reached 1200 already I'm doing better now than I was before you know we've got a sheep farm now you need sheep farms for um, wool and making wool so we've got coal we've got schools we've got courthouses furniture factory a textile Excellent, we've unlocked loads of stuff that we can use. At the moment, we don't want it because we're too busy making ourselves some sexiness. So this is all going to be housing in this area. We've got level 2 housing now. So level 2 housing, you get, you can pay more um, on the tax. And I don't think anything... Build a town hall yet. I haven't built a town hall yet. So I can build a town hall. So the town hall is here. It only costs 3000 And then I can start doing the expenditure. So I'm going to build it there. And I'm going to put a road out here. There you go. So this again, unfortunately, it needs offices that I'm lack of fifty offices. Needs quite a lot. Is it what level is that on? One offices. It's a shame because you try and make the place look nice and all you've got is houses everywhere. It isn't the best. Right, do that. Let's put that in. It's got water but it could be having problems. Probably needs another pump to be fair. Yeah, there you go. Right, and it's got it's got enough office space. Again, offices are good for um, work, so people go to work in offices. Again, you've got shops and so on. So yeah, we're getting that. We're getting the brick bit area. This can be like an office area if you want. And then we leave space from where the actual houses are. So now if you go to here, you've got taxis. So taxis for craftsmen is basically a level one house. Okay, zone craftsmen. And then employees, so we can just up that to 13%, another 1% to get some money back. I see a lot of our a lot of our industry is going out. The expenditure. Um, got office stage one and office stage two. At the moment, I think we should raise some of them. There you go. We've raised them a little bit. What's up with these? don't like the increase well I've got 32 bricks and we've got 50 wood so we are doing well with that so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna start zoning some level 2 ones now level 2 houses actually pay much more but they use more So let's have a look, quick look at this. So these are level two. Now level two is meant to be a more of a prestige things. Um, 
Again, you can have a look when you go to level two houses. They want consumer goods, so they want furniture, they want textiles, and they want spices. Okay, we're not even providing fish at the moment, so we need to do the fish. So let's do a fishery. Again, as you would expect, fisheries are always next to the water. Um, that is going to be down here. Uh, let's just put a road to that. Right, so that is gonna, that's 120 jobs just there, actually doing the fishery. So yeah, so they need they need fish, they need spices, they need textiles, and they need furniture. Again, they want school, they want leisure. So we've got loads of different stuff that we need to be doing. Um, you got a fishery here that obviously I showed you a minute ago. So that is producing fishery. Um, they want elementary school. So education is a big thing that they want. So let's see if we can get this sort of in the middle. Like that. And what we do is we put a road in. Distance too low. Okay. There you go. Right. So that's got maximum of 70. At the moment, it's got 50 educated people all attending the classroom, if you like. Getting a garbage gun. So level two at the moment is only 50%. So we'll we'll see. They, they probably don't like the tax, to be fair. They want fish. Fish and fire is the next thing that we need to do. Right, they've got loads of fish, and they're delivering that to the warehouse, so they should get fish very, very shortly. I say, in this game, it's not a case of, like, you're going to put a fishery there, and automatically it gets delivered. It isn't. You need carriers, you need local carriers to actually take stuff and bring stuff back to storage. So it's very, it's very based on infrastructure, if you like. And obviously level two now we can actually put the taxis up on a level two house uh office level two and then you've got office one and then you've got tax employees and then you've got craftsmen we're just going to up it a tad because we do need to so we can start making money as you can see we are making money but there's only 38 people that are interested in coming into the city at the moment it all depends on your taxis to see if it's good or not um, so as you can see we can only hold 80 so the max capacity of the city is 80 but you can actually get this warehouse here that we can't at the moment but you can click this warehouse and actually up your capacity in your city and it can go up to thousands of thousands um, so yeah that can be done um, right, so I think we need to build a textiles, okay? So we need a sheep farm. So we need to put a sheep farm in that I'm going to put here. Uh, actually, let's do it from there. Right, I'm not sure why that's doing that. Might not be big enough. Okay, let's just do it again. I don't think it was big enough. Right. So we've got a sheep farm, as you can see. Loads and loads of sheep on it. That's going to be built up. Then we can get some wool from that. And then we can actually place a textiles factory over here. Probably need office level two. Let's 
because I'd imagine that does take level two. And that's waiting, that's waiting for lack of resources. So they will grab the wall. They will grab the wall from there and deliver it to the textile factory. And then we'll start making textiles as well. We're making only 4,000 a week at the moment. That is good. Um, so, you know, you can get to a bit where you think, do you know what? This road here is going to be very, very busy. I'll upgrade it. There you go. And it's as easy as that. It will create a little bit more noise, but you can upgrade it and it's so much easier to upgrade. So now this has been upgraded, it'll take more traffic and it'll be a bit better. Um, right, sheep farm. Let's just get a new truck. Get the wall over to the textiles because we need it there. ASAP. I'm going to put in more level 1s because they're cheap. Excellent. That'll do. So we get ex we're getting more money in because people are moving in. I've added houses. So everyone is happy. I think we should have a little drive around. So don't forget, it's, it's in early access. So you know, it takes a, it takes a while. Oh my god, Jesus Christ, that's quite um, hair raising. So this is the the new road that I created that I upgraded. Oh, cover that. Be good. Got a car in me. In me. Right. Oh, good. Right, we can just go past all of this. So this is our main bit. So you've got the fields that we just started building. And then we've got this area down here that is basically industrial. This is where all your factories are. Um, you can see the garbage area. That that is the main sort of area for that. Um, right, okay. So, so we're, we're getting some electrical problems. But it's fine. We should be able to afford something a bit better now. So we've got a small sun power plant that we could put in. So let's put that in. Um, let's just do that for now. We'll bring that all the way along. Right, that should help with the um, with the electric. It also will help creating some jobs as well. How many does it create? Oh, it doesn't say. But I'm sure it creates jobs. Anyway, so we should be producing some good electric now. We're making nearly 7,000 a week. So we, we are making money. That is great. We've got the court there. Again, there is some other buildings that you can upgrade. There's buff buildings that you can unlock as you go along. Administration, so you've got a courthouse and you've got a bank. Um, a bank would be probably pretty good to put in now. Let's put a bank in. So a bank will provide you if you need to take loans out and stuff like that. Again, it will also create jobs, I believe. So you can you can borrow loans if you want to. You can borrow stuff if you need to. You've got one million there that you can borrow. Weekly payments of nothing. Yeah. Not sure how that works. <laughs> right, so that's called Bank James. Um, right, we're going to start putting some more houses around. We're going to leave that blank around the actual town hall.
and that these these can become quite big buildings you can have really massive buildings um oh they're not happy uh fire they got lack of textiles and spices now unfortunately the only way i've i've been able to get spices is actually import them from the port now i'm not sure if that is the only way you can do it but that's the only way i've been able to do it got textiles we've got that we need to fire so fire needs to be added as well right so as you can see this house here a lot of noise might be the road it could be the road um, but at the end of the day you chose to live on it So I think we're going to have to upgrade this road as well. Going forward and upgrade this road. Right. So we've got a population of 2,646. We've also got level 1 houses, 93%, and they're 76 of level two they've got the fire they've got the leisure the textiles is going up the furniture we need to build uh, that takes a lot of wood up so our next one will be to load some more wood and actually increase the city by then um, i'm gonna leave it there guys thank you so much for joining me this has been high rise city i hope you enjoyed it if you did please leave a like and please subscribe down the bottom right hand corner of your screen um it's a very, very, very good game. I like the idea that you have to sort about the infrastructure before you actually go and do anything. Uh, to me, that really appeals, and I quite like that. Uh, until next time, guys, thank you so much for being here, and I shall see you in another video. Thank you, and I'll see you soon.